Hi, I'm Jason Sterling, and I am recording this actually from work. If you ever wondered about where I work, this is it uh, behind me. I am recording a oh a build tutorial for the National Gallery for my article on Mies van der Rohe. This is going to be my take on his National Gallery. Now, the first thing I'm doing here is just outlining a square 10 by 10 box. Um, hopefully I get this right at six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be ten square by square. Uh, we're going to start with that, just a simple box. But then we're going to take the door here. We're going to grab the door, which is the action item. We'll put that there. And we'll grab these windows, which are the Glace Master um, window. This is the tallest wall height as well. I'm using the tallest wall height on this box. Um, these all around here like so this is a pretty easy build to do um, I kind of figured out a way to do the soffit easier it took me a long time to kind of puzzle out the soffit that's coming up um, but once I did kind of get it down it, it's really not that hard of a build to do we're going to use this here let me find out is it under stone maybe nope the bricks maybe where did I find it? This. We're going to use this in a gray, the darker gray, as our. I think that's right. I think that's what I used. <laughs> it looks okay, no matter what. No matter what. Even if it's not the correct thing, it does look okay. I might have done. I might have done this color here, darker, because I wanted it to be pretty dark. We're using black, you know, so I wanted it to be pretty, pretty dark. And then we're gonna go up here, and we are going to. Actually, we'll leave it down because I want to see the grid. We're going to place our columns, which are going to be our support columns for the soffit. So we'll take this column here, put it in like that. We're going to need a lot of these. We need like um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more of those. And we're going to take them and center them on each of the sides, like so. Do, 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 do. They give us kind of a neat sort of modern sculptural effect. You know, it's a museum and I have a sort of artistic sculptural feel to it. And the original columns for this had an odd sort of bump out like that. That was actually connected to the column itself, like an I-beam type of look, but um, mine's not. But I actually like this look better anyway. I'm not sure. I never try to do an exact replica of anything in the game. I just kind of do it my own way. And we're going to do this high style concrete inside. Now, in my original build that's in the article, I did a oh a quick sort of little entry area that was like one, two, three. I did like four by four like that, yeah. And then I I did like this is just this isn't really necessary but I did like some little bathroom areas here like that so that it would you know have kind of a look to it I, it shouldn't be open on the ceiling like that <laughs> I don't know why I don't know what that's about but we'll grab we'll grab this real quick and stick in there cover it up uh, because it should be closed inside. So I did do that. As, I'll put like a bathroom here and a bathroom here, and this would be like a check-in desk type of area for the museum. It's not necessary, but if you were wondering what that was on the article, that's what it was. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to build our soffit. We're going to use this medium short half wall, and we're going to build... We're going to come out two spaces. So we're going to go two spaces here... Two spaces here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I don't, want that, I don't want that to be too hard to see. And then we're going to do a full square like that. So we'll, and we'll go down, go out two more spaces because it should overhang by two spaces on all sides, like this. And this is kind of the I guess the blue outline that you see 
on the paper tutorial in the article, on the, on the written tutorial. Next, we'll grab this. This concrete fence is going to give us these, this neat sort of little post look that you can see in the actual picture of the National Gallery in Berlin. And then we're going to do like this so that the posts show up at an even, evenly spaced interval on the outside of the wall. And then we're going to draw a support beam like this. That will actually hold this table here. I'll go ahead and move it up here, grab it. That will hold that in place for when you save it to the gallery and download it later. If you're never going to save it to the gallery or your library and download it later, later you don't have to have this in place. But if you don't, this piece will slip. In a minute, we're going to lift it up a little bit using the 9 height slider, and it'll slip back down. So we don't want that to happen. So I, this brace will stop that for whatever reason. It does. It works. Um, I'm not sure why the game reads it that way, but it does, and I'm glad because we need we need that to make this work. So we'll do this here, do this here, we're going to run through the rest of this as quickly as we can, like so. This is kind of the tedious part, just this sort of replication, um, which a lot of builders go through no matter what the style. There can be a lot of replication of design elements to to go through. So let's see here. Do, 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 like that. And then we'll do our support beams down the middle, support fencing, whatever you want to call it. It looks a little bit like beams to me, so I call it support beams. It's not. It's fencing. But that's okay. It's the Sims, and we can pretend. So we need a bunch of these tables, a bunch of these tables. I, don't, I think I have to, yeah, I'll have to use this shift-click method. So I need, like, Oh, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That should no. And then one, two, three, four. That should be enough. I think that's enough. We're gonna see. We're gonna hope that's enough. We we'll bring them out here, double size them, and then we just lift them up as so with all of those. And yes, that's a little bit tedious. Uh, but, you know, it provides a really cool soffit look since we don't have those in the game currently. We don't have any other way of creating that. So this does give a oops, modern soffit look. And you can do it. You don't have to do double size. I did double size here because of the look of the National Gallery, but you can actually do this single-sized. So you could do, I'll show you real quick, just as an example. If we divided this off and had single spaces, we could go through and lift it up like that and create just a single space overhang or a single space soffit. Move that back out there. In fact, let's just erase it backwards. And one thing I forgot, I'm gonna move these back real quick because one thing I forgot is we've got to go through and delete all of these floors. <laughs> At least for the look we're going through for today. If you're doing a solid soffit in the future, you don't have to delete the floors. But in the National Gallery, you can actually see up through this overhang. So in order to keep the realism, at least to some extent, we are going to go through and we're going to delete all the floors. Again, like I said, this is a little tedious to get into, but it does create the look that we are looking for. Do, 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 do. And just to cut down the tedium a little bit, and since you've seen how I do the soffit look, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and we will get on to the rest of it. Okay, so now we've got the soffit in place and I, took, I kind of stopped for the tedious part of that. There's not very much left to do. We're going to put on a concrete ceiling up here as so. Whoa. Fill in those parts as well, like that. And then we're going to use the same, you can't really see it very well, but we're going to use the same kind of wall texture all around the edge here. Also, a little bit tedious. I want to just do the parts you can see so you don't have to live through, <laughs> you don't have to live through the whole thing. 
Um, and then we will put on a black capstone uh, here for, you know, it's not really a capstone. Capstone using an archway, but I call it the capstone because it's the, the stone that caps the top of the half wall. Again, we won't do the whole thing. We'll, we'll do an example of how it looks here so you don't have to watch through the whole tedious process of all of it. And lastly, we're going to do a molding here on the base. Uh, do, 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 do. This jutting, I think it was the jutting one I used. Let's try. Yep, that's it. And again, you know, a little tedious. You have to go around to each section and fill it in. But it's not that bad. So we've got that here. And we, we're done. We are done. We have done the entire structure. Now, I mean, as far as building it, you can go inside and place some art in it. You could use this as a house. Um, I might use it for a house at some point. Uh, you could definitely make it larger. I mean, I might make it larger. This is an example piece, but I might make it larger. Um, so, you know, you, you could use this as a retail outlet. It, it's very versatile. It's a box. <laughs> and you can see here we have left out the, um, whoops. We have left out, you know, these pan, uh, the bottom pieces. So you can see up inside, which is how the original was done. And we'll go ahead and put the kind of concrete look in there as well. And we're done. That's it. That is our sort of um, almost brutalist style. It's not. It's really a modernist style. Not, not true brutalist uh, build here today for this. It's a, it's a companion piece for my article on The Sims Community. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions, always feel, feel free to list them. YouTube is notoriously bad about letting me know that someone has posted on a video. So it's probably, you know, post them on the Sims Community article. Find me on Twitter, Jason Sterling 70 uh, on Twitter. So you can always send me a message there as well. I don't mind. I'm on Facebook. It's like facebook.com slash myworldofsims. Feel free to message me there. I don't mind. And I'm on this forums, Sims forums as a Jason Anthony Sterling. Same way, messages me there. And I'm on Origin. <laughs> Origin and on the gallery is Tony Sterling. Lots of ways to reach me. Feel free to use any of them. Happy to answer any questions. Uh, thanks for watching.